Okay, team, I have a really challenging question for you on the MTEL 62. This is a reading specialist exam. And I'm going to point out that it's a long one. It's got this long setup. And then it has a, uh, a short question. And whenever you see something like this, long setup, short question, what you do is you start with the question. Because what this is going to do is it's going to kind of tell you what to focus on, right? And, and, and this will help. So what I want you to do, we're going to start backwards. I want you to take two minutes. And I want you to read this question twice. Do that now. Go ahead. Two minutes. Go. Pause. So let's see what we're seeing here. First, this is a writing sample. This is a student's writing. So this is really a uh, encoding. This could be an encoding thing, an emergent writing thing, yes? Um, and here, and it's definitely uh, in terms of writing and spelling and orthographic. This is an orthographic development, so it's a, it's a writing development type of question. So, so this scenario should really fall under writing and emergent writing and writing development, right? Or maybe even spelling and encoding. Okay, but... Um, it is a spelling question or an encoding question, but it's looking at the stages here. And these stages of writing, right? This is this is gonna line up with the student's reading. So these stages here, we've talked about this in uh, reading, uh, pre-alphabetic, partial alphabetic. This is describing their writing though. Pre-alphabetic in writing would be that the student is not really, uh, is, uh, is not really, it's at a pre-literate level. They're not really using the alphabet. Partial alphabetic would line up with them only using maybe the first letter in a picture. Um, and these line up, these could match up with what we were doing earlier when we went with the, uh, in, under the print awareness section. Let me pull that up here. In that section here, let me get it. Somewhere here, this is a long packet. <laughs> but I want to find it. <clears throat> here we go. We went through these stages of writing, right? Pre-literate, early emergent, okay? So so I'll match them up with pre-literate, early emergent, emergent, transitional, fluent. Okay, so, so those are the ones I wanna match up. So let me go back to this one right here, this question that we're doing right now. So pre-alphabetic is pre-literate, right? And then we have a partial alphabetic would be emergent, and fully alphabetic, full, fully alphabetic will be um, um, partially fluent. And then consolidated alphabetic would be like fluent writing, okay? Or approaching that. So that's kind of the lineup. But, but basically, the spelling or writing at this stage is without any letters. The, uh, the, so just this would be writing with just uh, pictures. Here, the alphabetic state, pre partial alphabetic, we see a T and, and maybe we see the, uh, a picture of a tree. And this T is supposed to be T for tree. Um, fully alphabetic, that is, uh, that is like, um, um, that is when we start to see the student uh, actually spell words like cat or they, they're doing phonetic spelling. Like I went and I, I like to play um, things like that, where they're using the alphabetical principle to sort of map out the sounds they hear with letter uh, letter patterns, okay? And then consolidate alphabetic would be, you know, much more, um, you would have a lot more spelling, the words would be more complex, like I, you'd have sentences and complex sentences and paragraphs, I like uh, to play uh, with my cat period right so we'd have punctuation elements of those so consolidated alphabetic for writing would would match up with you know that writing stage where the student is writing um complete sentences all right so now that you have that review <laughs> because um let's read the question 
All right. Uh, it's a long piece. Why don't you take uh, why don't you take two minutes and read it to yourself? Okay, two to three minutes. Read it to yourself, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, go ahead. Okay. All right. So it's a lot here. Let's just start. I'm going to read it. You can fast forward if you want to, but it says here, a reading specialist is working with a beginning, a beginning second grade student. So that second grade student is, is very new. They are what, what, six to seven. So they're probably, uh, that's, that would be first grade, right? So, and, and second grade would be seven to eight. So, so they're probably a beginner student, seven years old, okay? Who needs support in phonics to improve word recognition and spelling. Okay, so there's some gaps in letter sound correspondence that's holding them back from recognizing words and encoding those words. The following is a written summary the student wrote after listening to a version of a classical fable, The Rabbit and the Turtle. So they didn't actually read it. They listened to the story um, and, and they, I guess they wrote about it. The transcript of the summary appears below the student's writing sample. Okay, the writing sample shows shown is representative of the student's spelling performance on daily uh, written assignments. So I guess um, they listen to the story, right? Oh no, so this is them, this is a, uh, they listen to the story and then they wrote a summary. This is the student's writing. And this is sort of the, uh, this is what they meant to write. Yes? Okay, now we know that this student is seven years old, first grade, second grade. In terms of their writing, uh, uh, they, and their reading too, they're still very, they're at that beginner stage, right? And, and so they're going to be using, you know, we're going to see a lot of phonetic spelling. So we can already see that here, right? Rabbit, right? Race, because. You know, this is all turtle. This is all phonetic spelling going on, right? Uh, turtle, they get all the sounds except the silent E, yes? Rabbit, they get all the sounds except they don't include the double B. So lots of phonetic spelling going on. What else do you notice? Well, do you notice some of these words like rabbit, uh, bragging, um, do you notice any pattern with those rabbit again, ribbon? These are all what? Well, there's a pattern here with a double letter. Do you kind of see that a little bit? Okay. All right. So there's, there's a couple things going on with this. Okay. So, so they are doing a lot of inventive spelling. There's a lot of phonics rules that they haven't fully acquired. Uh, there's the, the double consonant, there's the, uh, the vowel, the vowel, the magic E, a couple things going on. So now that we have this, this outline of what's going on with, with the initial piece, we go to this question and it says, uh, um, um, given the student's writing sample, the reading specialist could best conclude the student's spelling performance is aligned with, uh, which of the following stages of orthographic mapping. So where are they with their orthographic development? Where are they with their writing? Um, is it pre-alphabetic? No, they're, they're doing more than just pictures, way more than pictures. Is it partial alphabetic? No, they're not doing just a, a T for tree. No, way more than that. Is it consolidated or is it fully alphabetic? Consolidated, we're looking to see it's a little further along, okay? Fully alphabetic, we're looking to see their spelling, but there's a lot of phonetic spelling going on. A lot more phonetic spelling. And that's what we see here, right? Lots of phonetic, lots of phonetic spelling going on. All it's it's loaded with phonetic spelling, right? Almost all this is is phonetic spelling. Yes? Wood, right? Great. All this phonetic spelling. So they're really at this stage at fully alphabetic. Who got that? That's a good one, right? I mean, this is kinda, um, they're using these terms. Uh, I know we thought of these terms in word recognition, 
but they're mixing a little bit with word recognition and coding and it works. It's a good question, challenge, a little challenging. Now we're gonna take the same scenario and we're, we're gonna do another, uh, another question involving the same scenario. So if you need to, read this over one more time before you go to the next question, okay? All right, uh, let's continue. 